Go ahead and end it, Phoenix. Go ahead, Phoenix. Go ahead. Oh, he dodged it. Oh, he dodged it. Yeah, he dodged it. Yeah, he dodged it. He dodged the bullet. Please, y'all go in the house. What's up, you guys? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hi, hello, of course. My name is Chunky the Gamer, or you can call me Jay, whatever you're feeling that day. But if you're OG Bobby Josh, what is up, my Chunky babies? And welcome back to the Bad Girls. I'm not going to sing the song until I learn it. Okay. <laughs> but yes, welcome back to the Bad Girls Club, Winding Berg. So, if y'all don't know, um, I have two replacements that have walked into the house. Um, unfortunately, Cassidy did go home. Uh, <laughs> Cassidy had to go. Cassidy is no longer a part of the Bad Girls Clubhouse right now. Uh, we will see her in the reunion. Um, which I am about to start working on that in a couple, like probably start next week, y'all. So it ain't going to air until the season done, but I'm going to get some episodes out the way. But anyways, um, anyways, so uh, she's not in the house anymore. And instead of bringing one replacement back, you guys, we brought in two. And let me just say before I start this, I just want to give a shout out to these simmers that not only fucks with me the long way, but supports me and I support them a thousand percent. Of course, shout out to Royalty Ken, Sims 4 LXO, Chocolate Eats, Sims by Re, and of course, my main guy, Barbie Sims. Y'all shout out to all these simmers right here i would love to collab with all the simmers in the world but i just i'm very excited that these five chose to you know collab with me and do what they wanted to do as far as the sims go now so i called out all the ladies and gentlemen out on my post and i was like hey calling all the simmers i want y'all to create me some replacements for my bad girls so of course they was just like hell yeah i mean royalty kid of course y'all know he made miss naima herself he made journey lou and he made braylon so y'all already seen his creations but i still wanted him to make me a replacement he had no choice. but And everybody else didn't have a choice either. But I wanted them to make me some replacements because this season, this season about to be wild. So without further ado, I want to introduce the first replacement, which was actually created by Royalty Kid himself. Y'all need to go. Y'all need to go follow him. Y'all need to go subscribe. Y'all need to keep his page jumping. This is Miss Kayla Vega, the red-headed firecracker Latino that's going to go, go pop some shit up in this house, y'all. I'm very intrigued with her. First of all, I love her hair. And, y'all, she is beautiful. Y'all, she's, this is, the, oh, y'all went straight to her titties. I'm sorry, ma'am. That was so rude of me. I got to get to know you before I can get to your titties. What is going on? But yes, y'all, this is Miss Kayla Vega. She is beautiful, y'all. He, he did his damn thing with this one. And then last but not least, this chocolate thing right here, y'all. She, she, she been me mugging everybody since she got in the house. But hold on, let me get a. Let me get a good look. I need her to look up. She she running her mouth. Don't worry about it. This is Miss Chanel Indigo. Shout out to Miss Chocolate Eats for, excuse me, you don't put your bubble in front of me while I'm talking. Goddamn, Sienna. But anyways, this is, uh, <laughs> this is Chanel Indigo for Miss Chocolate Eats. Shout out to her because... I am really happy that she made this sim for me. And I'm really, really ecstatic that she subscribed to me, y'all. Like, for real, for real. I'm, I'm th I thankful for all y'all for subscribing to me. But when she subscribed to me, y'all, it kind of came out of nowhere. She was like, yeah, Barbie still saw me here. And I'm like, Barbie, that's my girl. Well, well, you know, what a shout out at. 
I found it though. But thank you all for putting y'all replacements in this Sim series of Bad Girls Clubs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So what had happened was you guys, I was recording previously, but um, my game started tripping. They were got to go to the club, but it literally started tripping. Like it started tripping. So what I'm actually going to do is I am going to get all the girls. They have already met each other and everything. Y'all, when I had started this game, Carly was about to die. Carly was about to go outside and get ran over by a car. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> it was a lot going on so quickly. I'm, but I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. So we're going to go ahead and get some of the girls cleaned up. Well, all the girls cleaned up. And then we're actually about to go out to the club because... I want everybody to go have a good time, go enjoy themselves. So I am about to get everybody all cleaned up, situated and everything. And I'm going to see you guys when we get to the club. So it says burglar has been spot. Y'all, they can't even go to the club. Bro, I hate this man so much. I promise you. Where he at? Where's the front door? Because I'm sick of this. Did I lock the door? Yes, it's locked. Like, come on now, my brother. Like, you ain't got to keep coming to... Oh, God, did I unlock it? Oh, like, bro, you ain't got to keep coming up in here trying to rob us. Like, look, there he go! Yo! Y'all, every time I come to this house, it just... Look at him! Look at him! Who gonna go outside? Please don't go outside. Please don't go outside. Please don't go outside. Oh, y'all, they not worried about this, man. Yeah, because you're not getting in, you idiot. Oh, my God, that's... Got God damn it! <laughs> why would you go out Sienna out of all the places that you would decide to go why would you go outside oh my god is he gonna kill her oh my god hold on who went in there and did a vlog oh my god I don't I don't even know who's y'all I don't know who went up in there and did anything I am so confused I don't know who this is for so we're just gonna ignore it because I don't even know who went in there but dodo birds want to go outside oh my god he about to rob us oh my god y'all are the most dumbest individuals I have ever met everybody else is sitting in Lori Lori Please don't go outside. Y'all, Lori, like, you bitches are stupid. And they saying that. Like, you bitches are the most dumbest ones. Why the fuck would y'all go outside? Oh, my God. When they come in the house, I'm beating them. Misty! 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 Oh, my God. That's it. When y'all get in the house, I'm beating y'all up. Look, y'all, let me tell y'all who all in the house. This is crazy. Let me tell y'all who all in the house. Is he robbing y'all for real? Cuz. Y'all, he just he just stole five hundred dollars from each one of you idiots. Get in the house. Oh my god, is he wait, is he about to kill one of us? Hold on, sir. Sir. Hold on, sir. 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 Get in the house. Get in the house now. Oh, my God. That's it. That is it. I am sick of this. I am the ruler of this. And you know what? I they, they, Nobody's going to go home for this. But you know what, sir? I got to end your life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got to go. Y'all, I'm so sick and tired of this, man. Go ahead and end it, Phoenix. Go ahead, Phoenix. Go ahead. He dodged it! Oh! He dodged it. Y'all, he dodged it. Y'all, he dodged it. He dodged the bullet. Please, y'all, go in the house. Y'all, y'all, please go in the house. Y'all, please go in the house. Y'all, please go in the house, please. I, please, Phoenix, y'all, hold on. Who all outside? Man, I should have got Candace to do it. Man, go in the house. <laughs> Who is this? Okay, hold on. Who? Th this, y'all. Sienna went outside and peed on herself. I can't. I can't take. I can't take this. I can't. I can't take this. Y'all. 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 Is he about to shoot? Oh, oh, now he's scared. Oh, oh, you scared, sir? 
Phoenix. Load that motherfucker. Load it. Load it. Shoot it. Oh, look, she about to go find him now. Load that motherfucker up. What are you doing? Y'all, he put back all his car. Y'all, he stole $500 about 10 times from us. Y'all. You know what, sir? Well, I'm going to let you make it. I, I ain't even tripping on this shit no more. Because they got some dumbass bitches that stay in this house that allowed you to steal from them. That blatantly allowed you to take out of their pockets. So therefore, sir, I cannot be mad at you. I cannot be, oh my God, these clothes are overflowing up in here. Okay, hold on. Let's do some laundry. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. It's a lot going on. The clothes is piling up. Wait a minute. Hold on. Y'all could have been doing something productive. But instead, instead, y'all want to go outside and get robbed. <laughs> y'all could have been doing something really productive, but. Where that man at? I hear him. Where he at? Hello? Y'all. Look at him running for his life. Yeah. Cause if Phoenix wouldn't have missed on guard, my nigga, you would have you would have got popped. Would have died instantly with no freaking hesitation, my guy. No hesitation, my guy. And that's on everything I love. Like, sir, you almost lost your life, baby. So be careful. My heart is like a uh my heart is like a package with a fragile lemon on it. Be careful with me. <laughs> Shit. That's what was happening. But oh, these bad girls are just so filthy right now. It is ridiculous. And plus, everybody has gone to sleep. So, I think uh, I think the club could wait. Because everybody is just not feeling it. Well, hold on. Let me put a trash can out here, y'all. Hold up. Okay, y'all. So, I'm about to get these hoes to clean up before anything. Because it is really filthy. And y'all keep hearing that man. Ain't he supposed to be gone? Y'all, it is a lot going on. I, these these is the most dumbest pairs of fucking bitches I have ever laid eyes on. Oh, my God. They are just some Nimrods. God damn. Like, what the fuck? W what did I do to deserve this shit? The only people that didn't go outside was Chanel. I don't even know who did a vlog. I mean, uh, 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 fucking, um... What the fuck is that? A confessional? I don't even remember. I don't, y'all. I'm so fucking confused. <sighs> I don't know. I'm aggravated all of a sudden. But anywho, like I was saying until I was really interrupted by the burglar. Um, I'm about to get them to just settle down because now it got late. And they were supposed to go out and enjoy themselves on the first night of the uh, replacements coming in. But as you can see, we're getting robbed and shit like that. So we're we, we just not going to deal with that right now. But um, I'm going to see you guys uh, once everybody is up. And I'm probably going to get them to go somewhere else. So I'm going to see you guys when they're done. Oh my gosh, she's not paying attention to shit in the world. But I'm giving it a try. And she she kind of slow, but... We, we gonna let her try. Let's see if she exceed. Oh, Lord. Okay, she didn't burn nothing, y'all. She made it to a level two. I'm so proud of her. What did you cook? What did she cook? Okay, making mac and cheese at five o'clock in the morning. I mean, hey, to each his own with that. Go ahead and eat your meal, sis. I ain't even mad at you. So, Misty's down here talking to Sienna. You know, just asking her how she feels about the replacements and how Cassidy is, uh, like, you know, how she feels about Cassidy leaving. And Carly walks up and, like, why the fuck are y'all talking about that bitch? Like, we don't, we don't fuck with her. She didn't belong here, so it's no point of y'all still talking about her. So, Misty's just like, no one asked you, Carly. And she's like, well, I'm letting you know how I feel. Like... The girl, uh, the, the girl started picking with me, and I feel like she was just here to be a mean girl, and that's not a bad girl. A bad girl is totally different from being a mean girl, and I feel like she shouldn't have been here with all that. So, Carly, I mean, I agree with Carly a thousand percent. Carly's just like, she gave that, that nice girl persona, but she really wasn't a nice girl. Hold on, y'all. Lori, 
Lori is thick, baby. Lori is a thick madame. God damn, she all in the way with her thickness. But anyway, so I agree with Carly because Cassidy just was picking with Carly just because. Like, I was saying Carly was weird being in the gym and shit, but Cassidy kept picking with her. And Cassidy kept thinking she was weird, so she just was being, like, awkward with it. Like, all right, we get it. All right, Lori. We, we, go, please, y'all agitating each other. So, how about you just, she said, shout for beating words. Oh my God. Here, go, go do something. Let me go find her something to do. Go take a bath. That should, that should, that should help the stress. Go take a nice, hot bubble. Look, go take a bubble bath. There we go. Go take a bubble bath. There we go. All right, so Misty is just letting her know, like, I, you know, I'm sorry that she, you know, treated you that type of way. And Carly, like, shit, it's no problem. Like, you, what, what are you apologizing for? She's the one who did it. And Misty's just like, you know, I understand she did it, but it was just wrong for her to uh, act like that with you. And I, you know, I would never treat you in such way. And Carly's just like, girl, at the end of the day. She she did what she did. I'm not gonna trip on that shit. Huh. It's whatever. So, oh. Sienna, why are you down, y'all? Sienna is. Let me see what. <sighs> why? Well, she. I guess Sienna want to stay up and party and bullshit. But Misty down here making oatmeal and. Lori is Lori. I think Lori after she take a shower, she's gonna come down here and talk to Carly. Because Lori do want to understand, like, what exactly happened with you and Cassidy? Like, you know, we do want to know why she left. Because she just left out of nowhere and nobody know what happens. But Carly's just like, bro, I don't want to talk about it. Like, she's out the house. I just feel like everybody should respect that. You know, I really don't fool with a girl like that. And she, Candace! Y'all, Candace is mad ass annoying. Now, you clearly see that girl is sitting in the shower taking a bath. And you just walk your happy-go-lucky ass in here. Who broke the toilet? Oh, my God. It's a lot of toilet breaking. Come on now. Y'all in this whole breaking shit. And that is what gets me. Good Lord. Y'all, every time I turn around, Carly always got a, a, a different damn need. That's because she be doing extra ass shit. Like, when you done, come eat. And then you need to go to sleep. Because, y'all, I really want them to go on the outing today. But by the time they get done with every fucking thing, it's going to be nighttime. And they're going to get to go to the club. But it's just like, fuck. Y'all need to have a, a, a day outing or something. Like, shit. Jeez Louise, Pickles. Ma'am, come eat. Go go eat some food. Here. Ah! Get from this shit. Go make oatmeal. Damn. You quick to come up in here to eat some goddamn other shit. And look, the coffee nasty. So why you keep drinking it? Girl, anywho. Okay, so. It's a lot of needs that need to be met. Y'all, we supposed to be going somewhere today. And y'all, Candace is weird, bro. Like, she is weird. Come on now, Candace. Like, you are tripping. Like, what the fuck? Like, why are you standing in the corner laughing and Chanel in the room sleep? Like, girl, come the fuck on now. Psychopath tendencies, my brother. Psychopath tendencies. Oh, my God. So, I'm getting them to eat some food. I'm trying to get them to get up and eat food. Get off the computer. Come eat food. I need y'all to put things into y'all bellies. Because we want to go places. And y'all doing the most. Come on now. Y'all. Misty is really upset that Cassidy is not here anymore. So she's talking to Sienna about. Well, Sienna don't want to hear it. Never mind. Ah! Sienna walked away like, girl, don't come out here with that depressing ass shit. I'm tired. I don't feel like dealing with that shit. Like, you need to handle that up with yourself because the girl is gone. And we'll see her at the reunion. Like, ain't no reason to be up here bitching about that shit. 
the fucking girl is gone. The fuck? Who is this? Chanel, can you get out the way, my love? Not everybody waking up. Oh, my God. Did Chanel sleep? She did. Okay. So, I'm actually going to get Chanel to come downstairs. And she can actually, she going to come down here and make us some oatmeal. A lot of the girls did not sleep. And I'm trying to get them to go to sleep. Misty, why are you going to bed funky? What is going on? In oh, my God. Y'all just want y'all coochies to smell like rotten potatoes. Like, ugh, please go do something with yourselves. So, Kayla cooking. Who? Oh, she cooking. Oh, she talking to Lori. Okay, well, hello, Miss uh, Chanel. Y'all look, look Chanel, her cute little shoes and her socks. <laughs> so, Lori's coming down here and talking to Kayla. And she's just like, you know... I really didn't formally get to meet you. It's been a lot of chaos up in here. Um, I just really want to say that you're pretty. Oh, yeah. And Kayla's just like, well, thank you, Lori. She's like, yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah. By the way, I'm Lori. Lori Dillard. Um, me and my homegirl with my best friend, which is Phoenix. We basically run the house. So I'm just letting you know, like, you cool and all. But, you know, don't rub us the wrong way. And I'm not oh, saying that in a mean yeah. way. Okay. But... Come on now, Kayla. This bitch don't know how to make salad. The bitch done knocked over all the salad particles and shit. Come on now. Come the fuck on. But anyway, she's just like, I'm not trying to be mean, but she's just like, I feel like you'll, you know, you need to watch out for these girls too because that's the same reason why Cassidy got out of here. And so Kayla's just like, wait. Kayla got out of here because of who? Look, she acted like, because of who? She's just like, I'm telling you, these girls are scandalous. You need to be careful who you get close with, especially Candace. Candace really is the, you know, Candace, Candace is the big loser in the group. Not calling her a loser, but she really been on that shit to where she's sneaky. And she's been trying to be at odds with me and Phoenix. So just watch out for what she's saying. And so Kayla just paying attention. And she's just like, okay, I'm listening to you. Like, I'm taking heed to everything. But, you know, I'm going to get my own personal intake on her and Carly's just like I mean listen to what she's saying I'm telling you the truth and she was just like so wait who took Cassidy out Carly's like I did she got in a fight with me and she started picking with me so I beat her ass point blank here so Kayla's like wait seriously she's like yes girl like, I'm not scared of Nanho in this house. So, therefore, I'm going to do what I need to do. Point blank, period. And that's just that on that. So, <laughs> it made Kayla laugh a little bit. Like, well, God dang, really? She's just like, yeah, but, you know, I don't fight unless I'm being provoked. But it is what it is, y'all. Was that Candace that just passed by? Who was that? It was a sim. That might have been Chanel. Somebody passed by quick as fuck. I don't know. But y'all, yeah, they just talking to her like you. They they getting to know her for they getting to know her as a person now, and I really like that. Now Chanel is quiet, but I I don't know where she went. But she, Lori is really taking an interest in Kayla. And so Phoenix just like you know I probably wait. She is really taking a liking to her. And Kayla likes her too. Yeah, who the fuck? Carly. Okay, whatever. I don't know. I'm just going to ignore it. Carly got some issues. Uh, Kayla about to go use the restroom, though. I know that for sure. She about to go to the restroom, get in the shower. And these ladies are actually about to go on the outing. Next episode, you guys, they're actually going to go on a cabin trip. So... That's going to be that. Or oh, they might go somewhere else. I don't know. I'm debating on where I'm going to go bring them to. But, Sienna, if you're tired, go to sleep. I hate when they do that, bro. She's standing in front of the TV and shit waiting for a miracle. Bitch, if you're tired, go to sleep. So, a couple of them going to stay. See, look, what I told y'all. By the time I get these bitches put up somewhere... It was going to be time for them to go to the club later. But it's all right. Have no fear. I'm not tripping on it because they just trying to get settled in. And they really try to clean up because 
it is a hot ass mess in this goddamn house and i i need y'all bitches to clean up what's happening right here wait why her fist balled up wait y'all oh misty y'all misty just threw a fucking drink at phoenix oh no nope see see you picking now nah. Bitch, you really picky. So, Phoenix trying to calm down, but Phoenix just like, bro, you coming down here fucking with me for what? Like, bitch, I really been minding my business with your ugly ass. With that ugly ass green hair. Like, bitch, stop playing with me. Bitch, that's why I hope you piss on yourself. So, Phoenix going off in the house. Little do she know. What the fuck? That was so weird. And now she walking away because she got to pee. Phoenix like, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Like, you really been provoking me, and I'm about to give you what the fuck you been asking for. So you better chill the fuck out. So Lori doesn't know what's going on. What the fuck, Lori? What the fuck? Lori don't know what's going on, but Lori can hear her best friend going off in the house. And she's just like, bro, I'm not about to have that. Like, hold on. Like, hold up. Let me. I'm about to come up in there and, and, like, check some shit because I hope it's not who I think it is. So Lori about to come up there in a few minutes and check who the she about to check Misty because now Misty you being weird bro like you're being weird as fuck so Misty and Lori and already got into a fight already so Lori about to let her know yep and she about to confront her on bullying cause bitch you being weird so Lori is just like bitch. Phoenix not the one to fight, bitch. I'm going to fight you. So, before you do anything, bitch, tread lightly on my motherfucking best friend. So, Lori about to come up here and she about to beat her ass because, bitch, you trying to be a bully. You threw a drink on fucking uh, Phoenix for nothing. So, guess what, bitch? Lori about to come and solve the issue real motherfucking quick. But, hold on, y'all. Let me... Y'all, look at Miss Kayla. Y'all, look at this hair. She gives me Jessica fucking rabbit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, bitch. Okay, you you actually, you a bad bitch, okay? Periodic table. Stop fucking playing because, bitch, you fine, all right? Oh, you bitches broke the fucking computer. Come on now. And then y'all standing there looking at each other, looking, waiting for a Christmas miracle. Like, what the fuck? Where is Lori? Because Lori's supposed to be up here handling this issue. Oh, Lori up here now. So Lori like, now, bitch, what was said? Look. Now, Lori like, so what was said, Misty? So what the fuck was said? I hear you all the way down from my side arguing with my best friend. So, bitch, what's up? So, uh, well, you talking all that shit? Misty in her face. She like, all right, bitch. All right. I'm about to beat your ass, bitch, and I hope when I beat your ass, you piss on yourself, stupid ass, bitch. And Phoenix just like, no, don't worry about it. I told you I got it. Uh -huh. And she like, no, bitch, you're not a fighter. So I'm about to show this hoe that I'm a fighter and I'm going to whoop her ass, point blank, period. <laughs> yes! What's happening? Uh. Excuse me? Who is this? Uh, y'all, who is this? Why did it flash to her? Uh, he's out. What? Yeah, the Grim Reaper here. I'm confused. What was her purpose? Here we fucking go. Oh my God, bro. I'm so sick of Jason. Who is this? Yo, Jason just out here doing shit, bro. At this fucking point. I missed the whole fight because I don't even know who won. Thanks to Jason, bitch ass. Who won? Oh. Wait, who won? See, you know what? That ain't nothing but... <gasps> Lori, how you won this fuck? How you lost this fight? <laughs> Lori. Lori, Lori, how, how, how you did that? Damn, Jason, please don't kill nobody else. Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to see a fight and you pissing me off. No, I 
Chanel just like, what are y'all even fighting for? And Lori like, look, Chanel, this really ain't got nothing to do with you. I really should, I, I suggest you just kind of move along because I really got to beat this hoe up, bro. So there they go fighting again. So Carly and Phoenix have been really like being into Jason. Kiss my ass. I'm sick of this. Go, Jason. Go away. And y'all, Misty won again. Oh my God. And this whole peed on her. <laughs> oh my God. So y'all, Chanel witnessing the fight and she just like, did you just fucking piss on yourself? Like that's nasty and that's weird. I'm sorry. What the fuck is going on? What is happening? Oh my God. It's too many people getting killed down here and I refuse to be a victim. So you just not gonna clean after yourself? So the fuck? Y'all misty weird and a bitch, bro. <laughs> she peed and not did anything. So, Chanel feel weird about that. Like, you just gonna sit in here and piss on yourself and not, <laughs> and not clean this shit up. Like, nobody cleaning up after you. Like, that shit is weird. Like, you should clean up after yourself. That is the most logicalest thing to do. Y'all, Lori ain't studying that shit. She just like, all right, you got you a, a, I mean, you got you a W. Whatever it is, what it is, bitch. But just know, I'm gonna beat your ass, though, regardless of the fact but you're not gonna clean this up that's weird so chanel just like you need to clean this up like you pissed on the floor and i feel like you should clean this shit up like ain't nobody your fucking maid up in here why is everybody body parts weird i don't know so uh chanel just like bitch you need to clean this shit up like you, you walking around here and you peed on yourself and then you nasty. You haven't even took it a fucking bath, but yet you have peed on yourself. So she let her know, like, you need to clean that shit up. And look, even, um, uh, even Candace, like, bro, you fucking nasty, bro. Like, why the fuck would you do that? Like, you sitting here pissing on yourself. You weird. Missy just like, bitch, ain't you a fucking replacement? <laughs> like... Bitch, you have no room to talk. Y'all, Chanel on her ass. Chanel just like, you're nasty and you need to clean up after yourself. I think that is unladylike. And so Missy just like, girl, shut the fuck up. You a fucking replacement. I ain't about to listen to no hoe ass replacement tell me anything about cleaning up after myself. And Chanel like, bitch, excuse me. <laughs> like, excuse the fuck out of me, ma'am. Like, I, I will really have to hurt you. Don't don't talk to me like that. Misty like, bitch, I'm not cleaning it up. If I don't want to clean it up, I'm not going to clean it up. And Chanel's just like, what the fuck? You trashy, nasty ass white. You trash? Well, shit, fuck it. You trailer park ass, bitch. So, y'all, Chanel bad now. She just like, first off, bitch, that is disgusting that you will leave that shit here and they just not pick it up. Like, oh, they get it to it. Chanel just like, bitch, if you want to scrap, it's whatever. Like, I, I, I told you I wasn't coming in this house to fight with nobody. But, bitch, you want to fight because you pissed on yourself and you don't want to clean it up. Bitch, you can really fight with yourself. But I really beat your ass just for the thought of it. So watch who the fuck you talking to. So, Missy just like, I'm not about to argue with no fucking replacement. And Chanel like, bitch, it don't matter if I'm a replacement or not, bitch. You need to clean that shit up. Matter of fact, <laughs> Chanel about to walk away. Chanel just like, you bitches are weird in this house. Especially you green head ass bitch. Like, you are weird. Like, she weird. Like, bitch, clean that up. Who the fuck is calling? Y'all, why Cassidy calling? Have you? <laughs> Cassidy! <laughs> we can't come outside, Cassidy. We can't come outside, Cassidy. <laughs> so, Misty's decide, you know what? I'm going to clean this up. But I'm still ain't bearing none of you hoes. 
Like you, you y'all hoes don't scare me. Even the whack ass replacements, you're not scaring me. If I wasn't cleaning it up, I wasn't gonna clean it up in the first place, bitch. So she's talking shit out loud, just trying to make it aware to Chanel, like, bitch, you, you, you not, you not scaring me. I wasn't gonna clean it up. I wasn't gonna clean it up, and you were just gonna have to be okay with it, bitch. Ugh, she walking around this whole funky, bitch, like. Ugh, where is your morals? Your morals and understanding. Like, ugh. So, actually, y'all, I'm, um, I'm about to get everybody cleaned up. Because everybody did kind of... Hold on. Y'all. Kayla just got a sentiment with Carly. Oh, they cool with each other. Okay, that's... Okay, that's different. Cool, so... Kayla, ooh. So Kayla is really getting to know Carly on a different level. Like, Carly's just like, I ain't really just talked to a lot of the, all the females in here like this. And you're pretty cool, uh, Kayla. And Kayla's like, well, thank you. I, you know, I appreciate it. Like, you pretty cool yourself. And Candace is just being weird. She's just. Wow! Candace just like, what the fuck? We don't get cool with replacements. And Carly's just like. Candace, shut your weird ass up. Like, bitch, you came down here fucking with me and I was not even talking to you. Like, what the fuck? Look, Candace, what? Carly's just like, y'all some weird ass bitches in this house. I am so confused. As soon as the replacements come in, you hoes are being weird. So she talking to Phoenix and she just like, Phoenix, let me ask you a question. So Phoenix like, shit, what's up? She's just like, how you feel about the replacements? Phoenix like shit, I think they cool. Like, they ain't rubbing me the wrong way. I don't know about Misty and them, but I mean, they cool. I really like Kayla or whatever, but you know, Chanel cool too. Like, I really fuck with Chanel. I just want Chanel to watch out who she friends with down here because it just seemed like her and Candace getting a little bit too close. And so Carly just like, yeah, I feel that, but I mean, you can't really just tell a grown person nothing. I mean, if she sees something different from what we see in her, then, you know, it is what it is. Phoenix, like, to be honest with you, I've been trying to get this hoe out the house. And I really want to get her out the house. It's between her and Misty. So, today's the plan. So, you listening? So, this is what we're going to do. So, she's telling Carly how they're going to get her out the house. They're going to go to the club. And they're going to get her real rided up. They go, it's going to be on and popping after that. So, yeah, they just like, that's what, that's the plan. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to get Candace out this house tonight. So, y'all, look, Chanel listening. She just like, shit, if y'all need help, like, you know, I'm down for it. And so, Carly just like, wait, uh, look to her Phoenix like, you not cool with her? Like, I mean, she cool, but she was standing in the room when I was asleep. And I felt somebody staring at me and she was in the corner. And she, Phoenix like, what? <laughs> like, bitch, that's creepy. She like, yeah, I know, that's weird. So, uh, I mean, if y'all want to do it, let's do it. Look, she like, yeah, if y'all want to do it, let's do it. So, we about to go ahead and go to the club. But hold on, before we go to the club, y'all, let me go ahead and save this. Then after that, I'm going to see y'all when I get to the club. Okay, y'all, so from last time, I, will, uh, I was check. Y'all, Carly comes to the club funky. Come on, my come on, brother. Come on, we 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 gotta do better as great Samaritans of Jesus, bro. Like, matter of fact, let me, <laughs> y'all, let me go ahead and cheat her because one thing I hate is a funky ass sim. So they did come in what they have on, but I'm about to uh, let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and change their clothes. Let me see. How do I? Without me going into what I need to do. I want to like change their clothes. But I don't want to go MC command. Because that's what fucked me up the first time y'all. So. I'm trying to change their clothes. Without changing their clothes. If you get what I'm saying. Well. I don't know what the hell is going on right here. Carly. What you was about to come out here and do? Y'all Carly was about to come out here and be weird. That's all I know. I, I just know Carly was about to come out here and be weird. So, the plan, y'all, for them is to get either Misty or Candace to get out the house tonight. So, right now, we're at the club. It's called Club Sparkle. And, y'all, I actually... Ooh, y'all! 
this club y'all look at royalty king he always in the mix y'all <laughs> but um this club i got this off the gallery y'all and i really like the vibe of this club like this club is fired up look like the look at the colors and shit like yeah dj turn me up hey hey so period so they about to come in here get a couple drinks come to the bar like come enjoy their sale you know so carly about to come get a drink and she's about to get the von haas estate or whatever the von haunt whatever um oh, kayla and candace is getting a little close okay i, I guess i see y'all I don't know. Candace spin some game over here. Who is this? Hold up. Oh, okay, his name is Dawn. Well, hello, Dawn. Dawn Lothrojo or whatever his name is. So I'm actually gonna get Chanel to come over here and spin some game to him. Like, what's tea? Like, you cute or whatever. Like, I like your tattoos, your glasses, your hair. Like, you, you fine. Like, let, you know, let, let's talk. Like, they at this nice-ass club. And it's just like, it's a vibe. So, Candace came and said by Misty. And she's just like, look. Can we, like, settle our differences? Like, I feel like we just need to stick with each other in the house. I, 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 don't, I just feel some weird tension with that. And Missy's just like, why do you feel like that? And Candace's just Lupita's like, I don't know. I just feel like it's some weird tension in the house between everybody versus us. And, uh, you know, I, I just want us to make sure we stay good with each other. And Missy's just like, nah. I don't think there's any weird tension. Y'all, here y'all, here she go. Being, uh, being a her. So she's just like, nah, I don't feel like it's no tension or nothing like that. Y'all. Kayla that came in this club and made her something to eat. Period. She like, bitch, I'm not waiting on nobody. I'm about to get me some food. So if y'all ain't trying to get no food, I don't know. Y'all look that man that be robbing our house. I'm telling y'all, I'm going to catch that man slipping and I'm going to fuck, 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 fuck on his ass. Because I'm sick of it. Gosh. So y'all, Lori down here cutting up a rug, about to start dancing. And what's happening outside? Girl, we don't talk to strangers. Who is that? That Miss Heaven. Yeah, Heaven been popping up a little bit frequently. Y'all know Heaven just had another kid, right? Axel loading them babies in her stomach. Dick all in your stomach, bitch. You better not do no running stuff. Your eh, 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 eh. Like, she, she, she popping out these. She popping twat for that for that man, okay? She trying to make sure Axel don't go nowhere, okay? Nowhere at all. Y'all, look at OG bad girl. Oh, y'all, that's Geneva. So, y'all, Geneva is here. She see the baddies. She see the girls, so the new girls. And she just trying to make her presence known. Like, yeah, y'all cute or whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. So, Chanel's actually going to come over here and talk to her. Because she didn't hear so much about Geneva and... Y'all know she done watched the episode of them being on Bad Girls Club from last season. And she feel honored like it's an OG bad girl lip in here. Like, yeah, what y'all doing? Like, y'all not up in here like showing her, the, you know, giving her her flowers and showing her the attention. Like, definitely. Like, even though nobody fuck with Geneva right now, it's just like whatever. But Chanel about to come over here and give her her flowers and, you know, just talk to her and be like, you know, hey, what's up i'm chanel i'm one of the new bad girls in the house for this season and you know do you have any tips as far as how to survive in the house and you know she just really talking to her so geneva's just like look this is my tip in the house be neutral with everybody don't stab nobody in the back continue just do you be neutral be cool don't form no relationships as far as love relationships don't form those and just be neutral have a positive attitude don't let these bitches get you down period and so chanel's taking heed to everything she's saying like you know what happened with you and uh what happened to you and kaylee and what about you and um 
what about you and bliss like did y'all get any of that resolved and she's just like you know that's something i don't want to talk about like you know i god damn it she did she didn't formed a love relationship with the damn girl but okay whatever anyway so she's just like you know is there any like is there any way that y'all would like get over this and Geneva's just like, you know, that's something I really don't want to talk about because I feel as though, you know, we're grown and whenever Bliss is ready to talk about it, Bliss is ready to talk about it, but she's not ready to talk about it. And it's a couple more things behind the scenes that's going on right now. And I just, you know, is this something not to talk about? And Chanel's just like, shit, I understand. Like, I appreciate your kind words. Like, you're pretty, you're like, you're really awesome. Like, uh, you know, I like the, the tips that you gave me. So, she's still talking to Geneva. Y'all, why the fuck royalty came behind the ball? Come on, Mr. Bartender. Pour me a drink. Period. Y'all, he's staring at fucking Lori. <laughs> Lori like, how can I help you? <laughs> Look how she looking. She like. How can I help you, sir? You you staring a little too hard, but how can how can I help you? He like, bitch, I like bitch. I like niggas. Sorry, baby. She like, oh no, I I know you do, but I'm just asking like, what's tea? Like you, you wanna you you wanna chat? Oh my god, they getting into it. <laughs> Phoenix just like, bro, stop being mean to people. She just like, I was just asking a question, Phoenix. She like, bro, chill out. Like, we can't, I can't bring you nowhere because you always get into it with somebody. She just like, bro, I was not trying to get into it with her. Like, it's not that serious. So, y'all really up in here dancing to some damn Looney Tune music. Why are you fucking serious? So, y'all, Phoenix coming downstairs and she's about to tell everybody the deal of what she about to do. Because she about to get these bitches out the house. So, she, so everybody thinks that, you know, well, the, the two girls think that everybody's still in the club having a good time. And she's about to come down here and tell them, hey, uh, in a few minutes, we about to uh, just dip out. So when it's time to go, it's going to be time to get out of here. We're going to leave them here, which means that they're going to have to catch a ride home by themselves. And, you know, it's just going to be that. So Carly already know the deal. So what Carly about to do is Carly about to head home. So, Carly, Carly leaving first. And they didn't already negotiate some of this in the, uh, in the thing. So, Phoenix about to come tell, uh, Lori, like, hey, this is what's going on. Um, I'm coming to let you know everybody about to go home and leave these bitches. So, she's telling Kayla right now. And Kayla's just like, okay, so this is what we about to do. Okay, cool. So Kayla about to dip off. And so look, she look, she let everybody know, like, look, just go. Like, that's all I want you to do is just go home. And then that's it. So she went home. And of course she already told Lori. So Lori going home. And that means Phoenix going home. So yeah, Misty came downstairs. She looking for everybody like well, where the fuck did everybody go? She's confused, like, what the fuck? So, she, what? Wait, what to say? Enemies demise, losing the enemy. De Wait! Somebody who was your enemy died? Who is, what the fuck? Is this Dark Vader? Who died? Y'all don't tell me this now. Y'all, what the fuck? Axel died, bro. Come on now. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> and she was like, her enemy died. And I'm like, who the fuck are you talking about? Y'all, how the fuck that man died? Y'all. Yo. <laughs> Y'all, Misty Weird. Everybody starts to get. Y'all, this nigga got flames on him. The fuck? Everyone can start again, not through love, but through revenge. Through the fire, we are born again. Peace by vengeance brings the end. Uh, 
it's time for y'all to go. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on, but it's time for y'all to fucking go. It's time. It's time. Candace and them is a little pissed off because Candace been sleeping on the couch the whole time, so she thinking that everybody was still here. But she kind of she she really pissed off because she like, why would y'all leave me here sleep? See, yup, it's time for us to go. <laughs> why would y'all leave me here knowing that I was sleep? So she she really murder. Wait, what? No. What the fuck? No. <laughs> I'm so confused on what's going on. I'm just so confused. I'm confused. So Misty and Candace about to go to the house and Rika and see what the fuck is going on because why the fuck would y'all leave them at the club? So I'm going to see y'all when they get home because it's about to get crazy. Okay, y'all, so we back at the house and Candace feels as though that she needs to address these bitches because she's just like, why the fuck would y'all leave us there? And also, why would you leave me sleep? Knowing that, you know, anything could have happened to me. So, of course, she about to come up in here. And the first person that she sees that she feel like she needs to go off on is fucking Lori. Now, Lori, y'all know Lori cannot stand her, her as is. So, it's just like, this is Candace's last strike to just fight, period. So, she better tread lightly because this is not a fight that she just really want to bark down. So... I don't know why that just happened. So, Lori, so Candace walk in, and she's just like, why the fuck would y'all leave me in the club sleep and y'all come the fuck home? And so, Lori's just like, bitch, what are you even talking about? We told everybody that we were supposed to leave at a certain time, and bitch, you didn't get up. So, therefore, you cannot get mad at us. We thought that you were behind us, so, therefore, again, you can't be mad. So, Candace is like, y'all did that shit on purpose. So... I'm going to blame you because I know that you don't fucking like me. So, Lori's just like, bitch, what are you even saying? Like, I have not been bothering you. You have been bothering me. I'm over here trying to email my cousins and my family and shit, trying to check on them. And yet, you're over here fucking with me. I'm not bothering you. So, please leave me alone. So, again, Kansas just like, no, bitch. You did it on purpose. I know y'all been trying to do something to get me out the fucking house and I'm fed the fuck up. If y'all want me to go home today, today will be the fucking day I go home. And so she's just like, bitch, at the end of the day, if you feel like you need to go home, bitch, you're going home on your own. I'm not sitting here forcing you to go home, but you're over here picking with me. I'm going to call that bullying because that's what the fuck that you're doing. And she's like, bullying, bitch, what do you mean bullying? You're the one who tried to get me out the fucking house. You're the one who left me at the club. So what the fuck you talking about, ugly ass bitch? Lori's like, you know what, bitch? I really want to know what the fuck is your problem. Because you really got a fucking problem with me. And I really want to know what is your beef with me. We got in a fight and I just don't know what is your root of the problem with me. So Lori is about to go fucking find out. Man, the, the, the bad girls was in here happy that Axel died. That is funny. That is funny as fuck. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. I had to get it back. Everybody in here doing their own thing. Oh, here we go. So, Lori just asked her problem. She said, just let me stew in my bitterness and peace. Some things are hard to forget and forgive, okay? So, Lori's just like, bitch, that is no explanation for you to not like me like you just you're you're a hating ass bitch and i just really want you to go to fuck home bro like you really pissing me off you came down there fucking with me and you thought that i i set you up for you to go home and our reality bitch i didn't care if you i mean i wait not set you up to go home but she's just like bitch you're basically saying that i was the one that left you in the club i'm the ringleader i did this and i did that when clearly bitch i did none of that so i don't know what you fucking talking about so, Phoenix is, Phoenix and Carly overhears them because they're literally, like, right here. So, Phoenix just, like, I'm about to go check that shit. <laughs> because I hear her arguing with my homegirl. And they could basically, they, they hear that. They hear that she's arguing with Lori and she, they, like, she think Lori did it. So, Phoenix just, like, Carly, I'm about to go check this shit because... 
I feel like this bitch is really down here, you know, really out there testing my bitch patience, knowing that she ain't did nothing. So, Phoenix about to come outside, and she she about to let Candace know, like, bitch, if you really know who on, who set you up, I did. I want you out the fucking house. I told everybody that I want uh, to leave you at the club. So, bitch, if you're going to fight anybody, you might as well fight me. Uh-oh! Come on, big dog! So, Phoenix, just like, bitch, if there's a problem, you, you run that shit with me. Run that shit with me. I was the one who told them to leave you at the club. So, run that shit with me, cuz. So, if, I, if all things necessary, you might as well. Oh, shit! Well. What the fuck? Wait, why are y'all fighting twice? Lori just like, well, what the fuck? But y'all, Lori didn't know nothing. <laughs> Phoenix whoop her ass. <laughs> Lori, like, I am so confused. Who set up who? I'm confused. <laughs> Lori is confused like a motherfucker. What the fuck? <laughs> Lori, like, go, best friend. Go, best friend. Be the ass, best friend. <laughs> Everybody has to pee. Go pee. And Phoenix whooped her ass. And so she's just like, you're not about to come up in here and keep picking with people knowing that nobody did nothing to you, Candace. That's why, bitch, you going home. Because you started to fucking fight first, bitch. And she went the fuck downstairs. So guess what, y'all? Oh, y'all, as I was doing the thing, Lori got a thing. It says, can we all just get along? Lori is disappointed after witnessing her friends argue. Their be their friend argued they're better than this. Aww. Y'all, her attitude has changed. Harmony. Well, Me Candace got that call. Yes, and it's just know. like, Candace, you started the fight, which she did. And, and I feel, okay, I'm, I'm going to give my thoughts afterwards. But she started the fight, so production say, ma'am, you have to go home. So Candace is like, are you fucking serious right now? I have to go home? And production's just like, yeah, you put your hands on her first. Technically, Phoenix didn't do anything. Phoenix didn't put her hands physically on you. You started the fight. So, therefore, you have to go home. So, Candace is a little irritated because she's just like, bro, the fuck is you talking about? But, all right. So, Candace, my girl. Kayla is downstairs right now and she did a confessional and she said these girls are crazy She said first time being in the house and all I have to say is these stitches are really insane I am making a couple of friends, which is pretty cool But I'm still gonna keep my guard up because I don't trust none of these bitches. They're pretty cool But from them fighting and fussing and all this gossiping and shit I feel like we just need some dick and we need to go out and do it have a party like uh, We can't be stuck in the house just looking at fucking vaginas all day. We need to go get some dick We need to go meet people like oh, uh, we need to get out the house But other than that these bitches are crazy That's in the words of miss Kayla Vega <laughs> But back to what I was saying, um, yes. Candace is out of the house, you guys. So, all right, y'all. So, Miss Candace is no longer in the house. She is completing her call with, um, she's completing her call with, um, with production and production has told her it's your time to go. So, I guess she's trying to say her final goodbyes. She's just trying to get a last look at the house. Just like, you know what? I did my due diligence. I did my due diligence here and it's just time for me to go. Um <laughs> Lori is upset with the whole conversation because she really did come at her crazy for her and May was just basically saying that it was her fault, which it was not her fault at all. But it is what it is. So, y'all just say bye to Candace. Candace is gone from the house, you guys. So, we are down a bad girl again. We still have our replacements, of course. Miss Kayla Vega, which she is trying to bring some spice into this house because she felt like we need some, y'all need some peen peen because that's why y'all be arguing so much. But we still have Miss Sienna. Sienna still walking around here with due diligence. Uh, Cassidy, wait, y'all. 
is Cassidy just called fucking Lori and said, word on the street is that you've been getting into fights. You better clean up your act or you'll wind up. Girl, <laughs> Cassidy, bitch, suck my ass. Lori, like, girl, stop fucking talking to me, bitch. Ain't you out the bad girl's house? Like, you calling me for nothing, girl. You need to chill the fuck out and leave me the fuck alone. So... The girls in the house is chilling. I ain't even gonna lie. Misty is kind of irritated because, you know, she was about to, she was growing a strong bond with Candace. That well, that's the only girl in the house that she really just fooled with, cause she don't fool with Phoenix. Her and Carly is alright. Her and Sienna is alright. She just not meeting Kayla. And right now, her and Chanel are beefing. And Chanel just got in the house. So, her and Chanel ain't really seeing eye to eye with each other. So, she was getting a closer bond with Candace, where she's kind of fucked up about it because she's just like, that was the only girl in the house that was really, you know, talking to her and rocking with her. So, she's just like, it's whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and end it right there with these two ladies. Miss Kayla Vega and Miss Chanel. Miss Chanel Indigo. So, y'all, let tell me what y'all thought about this episode in the comments below. Um, this vi this episode was chaotic. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, but this is just you know y'all seeing the new girls in the house. I'm probably gonna add the next girls, which will be coming in the house next episode. So. Y'all be on the lookout for which replacement is coming in. I ain't even gonna put a name. I'm just gonna throw one up in there, okay? And I feel like I know I'm gonna make the right decision on this one because I heard this one is a savage. So definitely gonna throw her up in there. But that's gonna be it, you guys. These lovely ladies are gonna bring us out. So, um, make sure y'all hit the like, comment, subscribe button so you can be a part of the Chucky family. And also hit the notification button so you get whatever I'm posting. And again, shout out to all the ladies and gentlemen that helped me with the real well, world that put their replacements in. And shout out to definitely Royalty Ken and Chocolate Eats for putting y'all sims in and of course y'all see y'all lovely sims right here they are closing me out on this episode of bad girls club windenburg and i will see you guys on the next episode of bad girls club bye you guys <laughs>